What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Tesla, what it's been doing today, and just go over the technical analysis like we always do. Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for being here, and let's get right into this analysis. So basically, what has Tesla been doing today? Well, this morning, it had this crazy push-up. Pre-market, we were up huge. The overall market was up huge. Everything was looking great. Everything was going up, and then if you look at the NASDAQ, it just fell down, and now we're barely up. We've hit lows a little bit. S&P 500 is actually doing a lot better, so S&P 500 has been on this steady up climb. You know, it's, it's pushed up higher, had a pullback, but it's still hanging in this zone that we have charted out, and it's already broken pretty much out of its downtrend. So we don't have to have this anymore on the screen because it's broken out of it, so we don't need it. So what I was talking about for the S&P 500, I was talking about it getting above this high right here and we did it today all we need to do now is just hold it amazing we got above it we just need to hold it now tesla as all of you know is in the s p 500 now so of course tesla is going to have some influence on the this so when tesla pushes up it has some correlation with the s p 500 now what i'm looking for with tesla is actually it's staying above 665 now it's kind of making a base right now so yesterday we had this monster rally. Everyone knows that we had the monster rally and we broke out of this downtrend that we were in. Now this isn't a perfect line, but it just shows you that we were in a downtrend. So we broke out of that yesterday, amazing day on the market, and then we pushed up today, hit highs of over $700, 717 almost, but then fell down. But we're still up on the day. Not as much as we were, but we still are up on the day, which is good. But what we're doing right now, what I'm I'm seeing and I'm watching, is that we're forming a base right here above this 665 zone. I have this zone charted out here, and there's a reason why. It's because we found buyers here before. And guess what? We're finding buyers here now. Now, we got rejected by this top of the zone, so this zone is still valid up here. So next time we push up to it, we need to watch it. But what I'm focusing on is forming this base right here. Forming the base is perfect. I've talked about this in other videos before. If you've followed my channel for a while now, a stock does one or two things. Either it consolidates, forming a base, or it falls down, and that's how it regains its breath. In this case, right now, Tesla is forming that base, and we're doing just fine. So what I'm looking at for the rest of the day, we don't have too much left. It's really power hour right now, technically. What I'm looking for the rest of the day was just a simple goal. Stay above 665. If we can stay above 665, that shows me that the buyers are here. Yes, we do have a little selling pressure, but it's nothing compared to what this huge downturn was that we were in. So this is a good first step, guys. I'm loving it. I really am. But it is going to be greatly influenced by the overall market, so we'll just have to see how that reacts tomorrow. Now, the overall market, when I talk about the overall market, I'm specifically talking about tech, it's consolidating right now. It consolidated last week or yesterday. Sunday it consolidated and now we're starting to push up and we're consolidating again. This is what you want to see on the overall market. NASDAQ is doing just fine with this. You know, we, we pushed down a little bit, but we, but we found buyers again. So the NASDAQ, as long as it consolidates, we should be doing good and this should also impact Tesla. Typically, Tesla also follows with the overall market with, with tech. So I'm looking for some co consolidation on the market. And I'm also looking for some consolidation on Tesla. Now, my goal for Tesla going to finish the rest of this week. So Thursday and Friday, we only got two more days. I know the week has already passed this by. It goes so fast when you're watching the market. But either way, we got two more days. So my game plan for Tesla in the last two days to finish this week strong is hopefully pushing back up to the 720. Now, in my last Tesla video, I think I posted yesterday, I said, hey, we may get crazy and we may push up to here tomorrow. And that was today, and that's exactly what we did, guys. After that crazy rally yesterday, we pushed out here, and then we got rejected. But it did happen. So what I'm looking for, hopefully, is that push up again, but this time it does not get that rejection. And if the overall market is cooperating, which hopefully it is, then we shouldn't have no problem busting through that 720. We should have no problem busting through that 720 mark, but... If there are sellers there, then obviously it will fall down. Now, if there's sellers there the second time we push up to it, what I'm looking for is a pullback to this zone, the bottom of this zone, not this one again. So the bottom of this zone is 685. That will show you that sellers are here, 
but there's not that many or there weren't that many compared to previous retests. So that's the plan for Tesla, push up to 720 to finish the week strong and hopefully not get rejected and blast right through it. But Tesla's already had an amazing week to start with. It's, it's up a lot. So I would not be surprised if we just consolidate and we don't do a whole much, whole much left for the rest of the week. And that's A-OK. -okay. That's OK in my books. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Other than that, though, it, Tesla's looking good. It's starting to reversal. It's starting to base out. And I like what I'm seeing. Other than that, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.